Dude, that's why I'm standing here. All right, this next job is in Novak. Over the past few weeks, someone or something has snatched up several children from the town. The abductions always take place at night, and so far there's only one witness, and uh, he's far from credible. His name is Ricky. He's a jet fiend who wanders around Novak doing odd jobs, but is generally regarded as a shiftless buffoon. Buffoon. Nonetheless, dumbass Ricky is the only lead we have right now. See if you can pry some information out of him. All right. The citizens of Novak are just about panicked over this. So get out there and bag the creep responsible. You're right. No problem. Should I, I wonder if I should put... You know what I think I might do? I might just put Veronica back and keep Eddie with me for now. Let's see, where's my house at? I'm going to put Veronica back at the house for now. Actually, you know what? You can just wait right here. Should have brought something to read. Yeah, you should have. You wait right here. Eddie, you come with me, bud. Veronica keeps taking all my kills, and I don't want that. All right, so scrapyard. That should be Novak. Now we'll get some more acciones. Right, what gun do I want to use? Actually, you know what? I want to switch off. I use that Gatling get laser enough. It's pretty good. Let's. What number was that? Yeah, let's put the 12.7 millimeter on there. The sh my combat shotgun. Oh, right, my riot shotgun on. Um. Put the riot shotgun on there. So this should be the riot shotgun. All right. So where's this dude at? I'm supposed to see. He's some kind of jet fiend. Is he in here? Where are you at, Mr. Jet Fiend? Is that you? No, Wasteland Hero. What's happening? What's up, man? I understand you have information about the child abductions. Uh, it was dark. Dude. I... I can't remember. Hmm, tell me what happened to those kids or I'll snap your spine. Shit, okay, okay. This guy with some kind of knife on his fingers. He just grabbed one and took them. I think he went out to the west of town. Please, just leave me alone. Yeah. <clears throat> you lucky I don't snap your spine. You hear about <coughs> someone in a shootout at one of them casinos on the strip? <coughs> some people got killed or something. Excuse me. Yeah, some people got killed because of me. Alright, it's saying to go up here. Where are you? Where are you? Do I have to go up here? Eddie, knock it off. Where are these bad people at? This tower here? Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. What's this guy doing? Hey! Hey! I've got nothing to say to you. Best move on. What? Dude, I will shoot you! What is this? Death Claw. You discovered the half-eaten remains of Tomas. It's a grisly scene that turns your stomach. You fear the other two children have met a similar fate. I see you found Tomas. I'm it afraid he was unwilling to accept the truth. His death was a necessity. I assume you must be some manner of hired gun. 
Are you here to enact justice? Yep. What would a smooth skin like you know about justice? Well, my shotgun knows about justice. I've heard uh, what happened to the other children. While they were obstinate at first, they came to see the light. And they'll be happy to make your acquaintance. This is Freddy Krueger. Oh! Shotgun! Oh no. That dude just got owned right there. Maybe you shouldn't have uh, been over here. So the children got turned into fiends, Kate and Billy. Hanging out in the radiation too long. What this guy have? Death Claw Gauntlet. Fred's finger. Wonder how that, if that would be good for Veronica. Nah, she's got good enough ones already. Man, that is funny. That was Freddy Krueger. Did you see that? <laughs> it was like a play on Freddy Krueger. So that dude was pretty easy to kill, even without Veronica. Let's go back over. I want another mission. It says we're we're it's starting to get like serious now. See what Steven has to say about this. Did you find out who took the children? Yeah, it was Freddy Krueger. Nightmare on Elm Street. Outstanding job. I hate zombies, particularly one that's a self-righteous child killer. Well, he wasn't really Here's a zombie. Here's a bonus for killing that freak. There's another contract ready, and it pays well, my friend. You ready to get after it? I'm not standing here for my health. Give me the contract. Good. This is another investigation, and our client is willing to cough up mucho dinero to see this thing resolved. Folks have been disappearing on the road south to the Mojave outpost. <clears throat> for the longest time, people attribute it to the Rad Scorpions. But our client is beginning to suspect human involvement. All right. The abductions are strange. There's little theft of property, and never any ransom notice. Hmm. Several of the missing wastelanders mention their search for a reputed oasis in the Mojave, which is pure horseshit. In all likelihood, these are probably just natural casualties of the wasteland. Regardless, our client wants results. Good luck. All right. So where am I supposed to go? Right over there? Oops. Wrong button. Oh, right here. There's the police station. Oh, that's a rest stop. So, alright. I'll go to the rest stop. Looks like it's it's right on the little road up to the uh, the outpost there. What do you got, Eddie? Rad scorpions. Are they up in the hills up there? Alright, so we're supposed to go up over here. See what we got. You can see there's the uh, the outpost, Mojave outpost. What are we looking for? What you want? Read note. It's an arm. You can see the crudely drawn map and notice a location to the west marked as shelter. <clears throat> um, the west. This way. Alright. There was a skeleton arm holding a note. That's not good. Can't be rads. I mean, these are. There's a rad scorpion right there. We can shoot these guys with the bad boy, I think. It'd be cool. Oh, scavenger. Did you get that dude, Eddie? Alright. Whoa! Nice shot. He can curve bullets, apparently. Oh my gosh, look at them all down here. That one's dead. 
Where's this thing at? Up there? I wanna sh Look at all this stuff! What is over here? Rad scorpions for days! Oh no, 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 matey! Oh, I blew myself up! Oh no! Um... I... You can't shoot... You can't shoot that close to yourself, apparently. Oh, where did I put that shotgun at? That's on number two. Number three. I, uh, you can't shoot... You can't shoot that close to yourself. Ooh, shotgun time. This shotgun's pretty good. It's a riot shotgun. Got it from the game. This wasn't like a... This wasn't a mod here. Yeah! Oh, look at him go flying. Can I see one down there? Did I get that guy? What? That dude's tough down there. Maybe the splash damage doesn't hurt him nearly as much as the shot does. Oh, Eddie got that one. I was blowing that area up. I don't know. I don't know. Eddie, there's still some down here somewhere. Can't really see them from where I'm at. Eddie, do you see? There's one. There they are. Yeah! Direct impact, baby! That's what I'm talking about. Where'd that other one go? He's down there somewhere. Oh, that was a total... If he's not dead... Yeah, he's dead. Wait, there's one right there. Dude! Is that dude dead? Eddie, be careful, bud. There we go. You just died. He was he was head glitching behind that rock. That's what he was doing. There's one right out there. Sneak attack! Alright, let's switch back to this guy. Let's go find this where this note said for us to go. Where are we going? The heck is this? Are those body parts? Rad scorpion. Strange bunker. You've discovered a bunker filled with food and numerous amenities. A strange departure from the hostility of the wastes. You can catch a scent of Brahmin steak, apparently fresh off the grill. As your appetite surges, you hear the distinctive crackle of an intercom down the steps. It's got like all kinds of food. Place to sleep. Cactus fruit. Nuka colas. Brahmin steak. Look at this. Have me some steak, please. <laughs> All right. What do we got down here? The camera. Okay. Hello, traveler. Welcome to my humble abode. Please help yourself to the food. You must be famished. Actually, no, I'm not famished. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Dr. Vincent Mago, at your service. Why are you doing this? Isn't it reckless to invite strangers in? I'm doing this because I have suffered the unforgiving trials of the waste. I understand the struggle for one's very survival. I have felt the terrible, crippling hunger that pushes a man beyond reason. I discovered this shelter in one of my countless peregrinations. 
And in the course of time, <laughs> I've set out to create an oasis of philanthropy. Peregrinations in philanthropy? Who is this guy? That's very noble of you. I'd like to leave. Will you unlock the door, please? I'm sorry, but I'm afraid I can't do that. My hospitality does require limits, thanks to the barbarous nature of the wasteland. I must detain you for several hours as a precaution. What? Please, relax and help yourself to a hot meal. If you're still determined to leave after dining, just convey your request over the intercom. I don't understand. Requires key. I need to kill this guy. I don't want to eat this. I don't know what, if that's ac is it actually Brahmin steak? Supposed to eat it? Hmm, I ate your Brahmin steak. Can I oh, oh, there we go. I hope you've enjoyed the rest, friend. What can I do for you? Your gracious hosts, I must be going now. Let me out of here, you nut job! That type of churlish invective will get you nowhere. Peculiar fast. noise. The din of the intercom, you're able to make out a peculiar noise overhead. As you look up, you become lightheaded and feel overwhelmed with a warm, relaxing sensation. Um. You wake up in a daze, stripped of your belongings, and soon struggle to your feet. You notice a strange man eyeing you behind the bars. You suspect he is your captor. What? Ah, you're awake. You're even more vigorous than I had anticipated. Very good. What the hell is going on here? You're in a cell, in my bunker. I'm afraid this is the end of the line, my friend. Uh-oh. It's a matter of survival, really. What can I say? The wasteland really brings out that war of all against all quality. You're a cannibal, aren't you? You've been luring people here and murdering them. I can't quite hear you. Can you lean a little closer? No, I'll keep my distance. Dang Thank it. you very much. I was going to punch him in the face. Uh, you don't know who you're dealing with. I'm going to cut out your heart. No matter what happens, you'll get what's coming to you. I've been capturing and eating preachy fools like you for decades. What makes you think you're any different? Take a look at Bob over there. He was a spirited lawman from town, hell-bent on finding his brother's murderer. A few nights ago, Bob bashed his head in against the floor in order to prevent the fate of his brother and so many others. Where's the justice in that? By every indication, Bob was an honest, brave soul who died with pride. Yet, I'm still standing here. Don't talk at me about justice. In a few minutes, you're going to be silent, meaningless fodder for my survival. There's your justice. Dude, I am going to... Oh. Dude, I'm naked. Search Bob. Bobby pin to Jane, okay? Oh no! The heck is wrong with this thing? Oh no, no! Give me some! Go get him! Oh, uppercut! Uppercut! Oh! BD! Here! Ah! 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 Am I behind?
behind the fridge? Mango's finger, Mango's key. I don't want the strange meat. What am I doing behind the fridge? Get, get. Where's my stuff? Where's my, uh, human flesh. Where's my stuff? What is that? Insta mash. Dude, I need to find my stuff. I can't go that way. Empty desk. Ooh, look at all the whiskey. Whiskey River, take me home. What's this? Open stolen gear. Take all. Jeez Louise. Got to re-equip my gear now. Um, advanced Recon Ranger armor. Advanced night vision. My Black Ops beret. Weapons. Infrared was on seven. Um, Mariah's shotgun was on three. And Ferguson rifle, I took that off. What is this one? Let's try this one out. Put that one on four. Uh, Gobi was on eight. The ghoul lady, gauze rifle. Can I repair this right now? Repair with this and the plasma. My Desert Eagle. I guess we'll put that on five. Oh, my 12.7 I had on six. And then stim pack. We put on one. All right. Should be good. Am I dressed in my gear? Yes, I am. Brahmin steak has worn off. Now, where? how do we get out of this joint? I am out of here, man. That was... What was that note? There was a note to Jane or something from the guy who killed himself. To Jane. I doubt this note will ever reach you. I was arrogant to think I could just strike out alone and make everything right. I failed at so many things. Just wanted to succeed for once. Eric was always better than me. I'm ashamed to admit it. But I'm almost happy when he went missing. It showed uh, everybody he was human. They had to rely on me. I went being inept deputy sheriff overnight. And blah, blah, blah. Took a minute. Thanks for the chance. But I am stripped from freezing. Uh, he's just explaining like what happened to him. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Did all those things. All right, so I, I got his finger, right? Yeah, I got his finger. Let's travel back over here. That was a bad one, man. We they t he took all my stuff. Had to go into punch mode. Who's down there? Oh, there he is. Hello. Mr. Feral Ghoul. Yeah, <laughs> you dead. You dead. Alright, give me another bounty one that I don't get put in jail, please. Did you find out who's behind the disappearances? I did. It was a cannibal dude, and I killed him. A kidnapping cannibal, you say? Yep. Shit, that's a surprise. Most of the cannibals around here have been put out of business by the NCR. Anyway, here's your reward. No, I put the Excellent White work. Glove Society out of business. Meat Wagon did. I've got 